To help speed up the data entry of my front end users, I allow them to type in the code instead of the full name. For example, in my department field here, instead of typing in training, they can type in the code TR or HR for human resources. The problem I run into is when I hire on a new data enterer is that they're not familiar with the codes here. What I can do is I can change the properties of this field to change from a text field to an actual lookup field. So if they're not familiar with TR, they can come in here, click in the field, get a drop down arrow, look up the code, and cross reference it over to the right with the actual name of the code training for TR. Now this can be done one of two ways. When I actually start working and changing the properties of the field, it's going to ask me, do you want to be able to look this up in another table, the actual values, or do you want to type in the values? For this exercise, we're just going to have it look up in another table. Because if I type in the values, then once I change it from TR to the actual value, which could be training, it actually replaces the code here with the full name. I don't want to do that. I just want to keep the code and allow them to actually look up its value and not replace it with the value itself. That's why I created a separate table here called the departments table that I can cross-reference when I double click and open it up, cross-reference and match the code here, the primary key column, department code column, with AC to what I have in the payroll, if there's AC in here, there it is, and actually return the value from AC, which is the department name accounting. Now again, if I don't have a separate table, then I have to use what they call the lookup wizard's default, and I actually have to type in the full name accounting. The problem I run into is, again, if I type in the full name, when I click on the drop down arrow, it's actually going to overwrite the code here and replace it with the full name. Uh, again, I don't want that. So that's why I created a separate table. So to get started on this lookup wizard, to make sense of it all, I'm going to go ahead and click on the design view button for my payroll table here. In fact, I can right click on the department table and left click on close. Okay. So now I'm back into the design view here. And I'm going to change the data type for my department field from a text to an actual lookup wizard. It wants to create a lookup column where it displays a list of values you can choose from. Where are the values? Well, are they in a table? Of course, they have them over here. Or do you want to actually type them in? If I choose type them in, I select this and I click next, I actually have to come down here and type in the values. For AC, it's going to be accounting. The problem I run into is that when I'm finished and I click in the field and it gives me the drop down arrow and I choose accounting, it replaces the code AC with the full name here. I don't want that. I'm going to click back and I want to use the other option that allows me to look at the values in another table. Sure, it takes a little longer to set up, but it allows that flexibility to have me display both the codes and be able to show the lookup value without overwriting the code. So, it's in another table. Click Next. What table is it? Departments table. There it is. Click Next. And then what fields do I want to show? Well, I want to show both. So I'll click on the double arrows and select both the code and the department name. Click Next. How do you want this sorted by? Well, I want to sort it by department code ascending A to Z instead of descending D to Z. Click Next. And there, not only does it display the value here, but I can uncheck this and also show the key column, or the primary key column, which is the department code. See that? So now I can actually show and keep my codes here within the field and just have these over to the side, the department name as a lookup, as a reference. So if they get confused what AC means, well, they can pull it up, look at it, and still keep the AC as the code here in that field. Now, if these are cut off, let me click and drag, and you get something funky like that. All you have to do is move your mouse up to the far right of that column header name, department, and double click, and it does a best fit or auto fit, or you can just click and drag. But if I double click, it fits it to the longest text within that column here, which is administration. Also, let me double click to the right side of department code so I can keep everything tight and concise. I'll go ahead and click next, then it says OK. Where do I want to store that value AC? Well, of course, I want it to store the value because for each record, each employee that I enter, and they belong to the accounting department, if I click on the drop down arrow to look up for accounting, I want it to save that so I can pull it into reports or forms or anything else I want to use. More to the point, it says choose a field that uniquely identifies the row. Well, from all the fields here, which is the unique identifier or the one that has the primary key, it's the department code in my table. If you recall, I mentioned that that department code field has the primary key assigned to it. So the majority of the time, it's going to be the primary key field. Select it, click Next, and then what label would you like for your lookup column? Well, it's going to be my department code. Do I want to store multiple values for this lookup? No. I'm going to keep it simple and click Finish. Make sure you save your work, click Yes, and let's go take it for a test drive. Now, notice how it doesn't say lookup here. The only way you're going to find out if this is a lookup field, if you come down here in the properties and you click on the lookup tab, it changed from a let me click here where it says display control from a text box to a combo box. Let me hit the escape key so I don't accidentally click on something and change it. 
if it was a text box, wouldn't have any of the fields down below and it just say text box, okay? So that's the only way you're going to know if this is an actual lookup field as far as the design view goes. Select the field here and then come down here. For another example, let me click on this data type text and down below you can see it's just a text box. Click in the field here, you have list or combo, but again, it's just a text box as opposed to the data type text, but it has it as a combo box or as a lookup field. To test it, click on the view button to go to data sheet view, make sure you save your work and click yes, and then come down here in any one of these fields, we can actually even change these, I get my drop down arrow. So if I'm a new data enter and I go, wow, what's TR? I know they're in the uh, training department, is that actually TR? Click on the drop down arrow, there it is, TR cross reference training, cool, or I can change it to sales. Now, like I said before, the reason why I had it look up in another table because it allows me to keep the actual code here and it shows the actual lookup value over to the right, but when I select the line item here, it just displays the code, not the actual value. If I didn't have another table to look up the values in, then I have to type in the whole value, and when I clicked on the drop down arrow and I select marketing, it wouldn't have the code MK, it would actually have marketing. So that's the difference between the two. It takes a little bit longer if you create a separate table to look up the values within when you do the lookup wizard, but it gives you more flexibility in that you can actually just have the codes displayed and again just use the values as, as a reference here. I'm going to hit escape on the keyboard a couple of times so I don't save the record here. So again it's taking the code here, the TR, and it's looking up in the departments field, sees TR and returns the value training. Go ahead and right click and close out of here. Another thing we can do here is we can give headings to these columns. For example, let me go back to my design view here, of course down to my department code here, the field, and then down to the field properties on the lookup tab. You see where it says column heads, it says no, double click and change that to yes, click on the view button, be sure to save your work in the data sheet view, and I click on the drop down or the lookup field here, there's the headings there, department code and department name. Now if you don't want to show the code or get rid of the first column or you don't want to display the second column for whatever reason or you want to be able to increase the width of those columns because they're kind of cut off as you can see administration, let me hit escape to get out of there. Go back to the design view and you want to come down here where it says column widths. The first column is 0.625 inches. Well if I go ahead and I change that to 0.0, .0 watch what happens. Data sheet view, save your work, click in the field, click on the drop down arrow and look, it got rid of all the codes and all I have are the values showing. Hit escape, I don't want that to happen. Click on the design view button. Let's change it back to 0.0625 and maybe make this a little bit longer. Instead of 0.837, let's just do 0.9. This actually needs to be 0.625 and then click on the view button. Click yes and you just keep tweaking it until you get to your apartment code. More of the administration is showing. It's still cut off, but the way you can view it is by scrolling over to the right. Hit the escape key to get out and we're finished. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.